Well, it's the middle of December as I record this, 2022, and uh, my thoughts have turned to what I'm going to do for my Armies on Parade at Games Workshop next year. This year just finished, I did Warhammer 40k Orcs, which was a lot of fun, but I've decided I much prefer fantasy, i.e. Age of Sigma. Um, so I have to decide on what I'm going to have for an army. Um, if you watch any of my videos, you'll know that uh, I, I enjoy doing the old gits or goblins as they used to be called, called and the trogoths or trolls as they used to be called. And uh, I've got a fair amount of there, uh, that them points wise to have a, a decent sized squig army um, and a decent sized trogoth stroke troll army. But the one thing I don't have an awful lot of are spiders. So I've decided, right, do a spider army then. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, and it's been quite fortuitous because um, it seems that there's going to be a new Gits battle tome out in the uh, new year, quite early on in the new year, and there's all sorts of rumours that have coming around that there's going to be new spider models. Um, all we know for sure is that we're going to have them set on wolves, and I'm not at all keen on them. I'm not going to get them. Um, but I would like to have a spider army. Um, all I've got so far until today is this guy who I rejigged uh, yesterday, the day before, um, which is like a, a spider gets wizard. All right. He was green before, but I've decided seeing as those um, spider legs clearly are growing out of him, he's turning into a spider, hence the, uh, the extra eyes up there as well. Um, so, and the reason I painted him red is um, the spiders that I, I do have are from a good 10 years ago uh, when our son collected some for his um, fantasy orc army. He, he had a whole mixture of orcs and goblins as they were back then. And here's one of them. Um, I think it's one unit. So that's like 10 spider riders on the old, as you can see, rectangular base um if no new spider rider models come out the plan is to get some new ones and just um paint them and have them alongside these old ones um what i want to do is just pay tribute to my son and his color choices and he decided all his um, spiders would be red so um that's what i'd like to do when I I have a go at painting the spiders is just do them in the same um, um, style as his. All right. So so, yeah, that's all I've got spider wise, apart from one of these fellas. And again, this was our sons. And this is it. This is the flinger version. All right. And again, I've recently rejigged this. It ain't red. I don't hear you say. And it's missing a leg. Yeah, um, I think it my leg went missing when uh, our son took uh, took this chap off to uh, Games Workshop to have a battle. I don't know if he dropped it, but uh, yeah, this one is missing a leg. And he's black. For some reason, our son decided, no, I'm not going to paint him red. I'm going to paint him black. So I've got a big black spider, as you can see, and that's the flinger version. All right. Um, this is rather out of date now. Oh, by the way, yeah, um, where is it? Yeah, there's a changeover on on bases. It's not the, uh, the rectangle base, it's a round base. So, might as well show you while we're here. You've got two sprues of lots of different pieces, a lot of which I won't be using. Um, and that's because... I suppose this is quite an old model. It's a really good model, but it's still quite old. Um, and it's old in that the rules have changed somewhat. You've got you've got this one, which is the spider with a war party on the top. So basically, a lot of gits, you know, with their their spears and their bows and arrows. The web spinner shaman, all right, which is basically the wizard on his little podium on top of the spider, and then the flinger, right. Um, I'm not going to do any of them because there's a fourth version um, since this was produced and uh, it's called a scatter something spider, right? 
Um, and basically, it's a spider that doesn't have any riders, doesn't have any platforms or anything like that. It's just your basic spider. So, you know, its weaponry is basically its big legs and its fangs and its venom. And I like the idea of that because what he, he does, he, he's a standalone spider, just like that. Um, and uh, you can teleport him in. Uh, at any point during a, a phase of the battle, you can have him appear anywhere on the board as long as he's nine inches or more away from an enemy unit. And I like that idea, and I'm looking forward to having that option. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to be having a basic spider. I'm um, in an R in. I, because this one is just trundling across the battlefield... I want this one to look a bit different and I quite like the idea of him being raised up. So instead of you looking at him like that, he's up there like that, coming down off of something. And uh, yeah, I remember from before that there were some like tree stumps to elevate him a bit, but I'm thinking I might want to elevate him more. And there's two options I can do with that, I figure. I can go down the woods and find a piece of wood that's bigger than that, so he's actually coming down. Or I make a bit of terrain, you know, a building or something like that to show him coming up and over. Haven't decided on that. Um, also haven't decided on his colour. I know I said the, the regular size spiders, they're all going to be reds. Um, I haven't got them here at the moment. Maybe in later... Uh, chapters to this video I'll show you what my son was doing but he was also picking details out in black or having black at the front and red at the back and stuff like that you see so um, but they're going to be red but I'm, I'm just thinking I've got one black spider um, maybe during the year I'm going to get the the war party spider and then another one and have the shaman on a spider this is uh, assuming no more uh, model kits are released during the year of spiders and i want them all to be different um again if you've seen my videos you know i like colorful things um so i don't know i'm i'm I'm, in on R in. I'm thinking maybe orange and black for this one but i'm also thinking maybe yellow and do something with the patterning because all the other ones his lovely rear end is covered up so maybe do some mottling or something or other i don't know um i'm going to get these snipped i'm going to get him stuck together and uh and then i'll let you know what i thought all right so here he is put together got some green stuff i've had to put in there to uh Hide the join. I've just got to rub that down a bit. And he's legless, so to speak. Uh, right now he's legless because I've, now I've got to decide what I'm going to do. And yeah, I do. My other one is like this. I want this one to be sort of like this. Because then if he's not got the all the rigging on the back, it's showing off all that uh, lovely detail work on his rear half and also if he's up like that you get to see all that beautiful detail with those spiders coming out those little blobby things whatever they may be um, on my black one you can only just barely see what's going on there so the idea then is to have him raised up the tree thing that you get with the kit raises him up a little bit but not much um, also I mean you know you've got all this nice detail with the skulls and the spiders and the tied up goblins and if he's on there like that you're not going to see that so I'll hold that, that off and Maybe use it somewhere in my spider army at some point, part of a diorama thing. So, I need to put him on that base, but have him up in the air like that. So, I need to build something upwards, about five or six inches. Um, 
first of all, I was thinking about going to the shops and go to the baking section and I was looking for uh, cake decorating things. You can get, uh, you know, little decorative pillars for cake decoration, um, but I can't find them anywhere and I don't want to spend any money or not much. Um, I did think about making a wall out of uh, foam board, but that would be kind of bland. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is, because I'm going to have far more control this way, is I'm going to make some rocks and he's going to be scrum scrambling down from some rocks and I'm going to make the rocks out of kitchen foil because I've got far more control about how big they're going to be and I can scrunch it and push it around and get it into the position that I want. Now the position I, that I want I don't know yet because I've got to attach the legs and even though I've made one of these before, I've completely, completely forgotten the build process. And I've completely forgotten that a lot of these legs aren't posable. You have like a notch there for the rear leg to get it to point backwards. So I think the next step is to get those on and just see how posable the forward legs are and try and get them into a pose that I like of him like inching his way down a rock face all right so i'll come back when i've done that all right so i've decided i will um do this uh this part of the spider in sub assemblies i'm not going to attach any of the uh, legs at all yet um not even with blue tack the blue tack that's in the leg sockets is just to cover up the bare plastic which way glue in later um, what I'm doing here is I'm again using flesh tones that I've got a bunch of that I don't, don't really need and um, I've been doing like a bespoke um, light flesh and uh, this morning I washed it with a mixture of the, um, let me call them up so I can see what they were, uh, the Lamian Medium which turns them into a glaze instead of staining the whole surface. The, the color underneath comes through. Uh, Reichland Flesh Shade. Um, oh, excuse me. Agrax Earth Shade. And just to get a bit more ickiness to it, Garagax Sewer. All right, so that's like a mixture of all three down in there. I'm going to go darker and ickier in all the holes and recesses especially where the spiders are coming out. Um, and then I'll be picking out these. I don't know what these are. Are these like um, spider portals, little chambers that are going to burst open and turn into these, or are these pustules? I don't know. But I quite like this. This is um, quite nice, I think. Something a bit different. It's a, it's a flesh tone for a spider, which you don't very often see. Still, I'm in an R in what to do about the, uh, the top coat, though. Okay, so I've chosen the base colour, which is this uh, lovely yellowy browny orange, which is called Avalon Sunset. All right, so that's my basic colour. Oh, as you can see, like so. Quite thin, this paint. Um, I've, I've, I've got to put a few coats on. So the idea is that's that, and I'm going to wash that with... Um, some of that stuff mixed down with um, Agrax Earth Shade, just to um, you know go in the recesses recesses of all these dimples and little horny bits. And then I'm going to dry brush. And then what I'm going to do, I think, is the idea. Although I might change my idea, is um, um, on the ends uh, dry brush uh, like a browny black. And then on the legs, keep this colour at the top, but then going shading down into the brownie black and then into a solid black on the ends of all the legs. So uh, let's come back once I've put washes on this to uh, tone things down and then hopefully lighten things back up again. So I'm happy enough with how the colour scheme's going. Um, this is what I'm kind of like doing his legs and just in the middle of dry brushing 
uh, Rhinox hide at the top and then fading it into black at the bottom. That's a work in progress. Um, but a rethink, I'm not gonna have him up on high. These legs here with the skulls on the bottom to anchor it, you don't have much in the way of maneuvering in the socket. So he's not gonna be like this, but he is gonna be up a little bit because uh, I want each pose of each of the eventual four spiders to be different. So uh, I'm gonna raise him up, but not to a great degree. Okay, so I'm locked into what I'm doing with the base. Um, he is up a lot higher, all right, which is what I wanted because, as I say, the ones that have got the, um, the holders on the back have got to be horizontal. Um, so he is raised up. Um, and yeah, all I've done, there you go, you can see how raised up he is. All I've done is uh, got some kitchen aluminium foil and just scrunched it up and uh, put a blob there, pushed it down there and there so his back legs are uh, on it. So what I've got to do now is just scatter material and lots of rocks to blend this all in. You can see where I've drawn round where his uh, touch points with the skulls are. All right, so basically he's going to be on there like that. He's a bit further forward. He's almost coming off the base, as you can see, but I don't mind that because this is the teleporting one. So he arrives and then jumps into the action. So that's what he's going to be in the process of doing. And a big jump forward to the end now. So yeah, the base was dead easy. There's the, uh, the um, kitchen foil scrunched up. And um, yeah, all I did was um, put some PVA glue down. Then before putting the scatter material down, I um, put stones where I wanted them to go because I wanted to kind of like blend in the, uh, um, the kitchen foil to the rest of it. And these are basically here, you know, to like uh, hide the gaps. So that's like that and around there as well. Um, and then, yeah, just covered it with scattered material and um, painted it. Um, this is Zandri dust mixed with all sorts of uh, contrast paints. Um, and then greys for the rocks. And that's him pretty much done. Um, I can't remember if I've said in one of the first videos, but um, I've held off on putting any mushrooms or other spiders um, on the base because this is the... Um, the spider that you can teleport into enemy territory and therefore um, just appears amongst your foes. So he wouldn't have the trappings of, you know, a traditional, um, you know, base for a, uh, a Gitz spider unit. I'll be doing that on other bases. So, yeah, so that this is just like a generic terrain base. And uh, I'm actually quite pleased... I thought he was too far forward. Um, he couldn't go any further back because I wanted the back legs to be anchored on the on the kitchen foil, so he couldn't come any further back than that. But I quite like the fact that he's like um, um, far, far, far further to the front than they usually are. It does look like he's just teleported in, and uh, I quite like the way his legs are like this. It's like he's uh, teleported in and he's about to pounce. So very, very pleased with this fella. Um, so I've got one black spider, one yellow spider. I'm thinking next one I do will be a red spider.